coolness and balance vibrations family i trust you well I'm vibrating in resonance uh you brother here the crypto griot curtis the rule and today we're doing a reflection on all the beautiful movement that we see in the charts today and we see that it's so much green and it looks so nice shout out to all the the plant-based lovers out there the charts are looking good but typically when you have that beautiful wave of green you have that wave of red that's right around the corner knocking like peekaboo i see you and there to take some of your profits so how do you protect yourself is by setting your stop losses and to in all the charts that we've done we did a video uh if you into our youtube my youtube page it's uh one tribe hmu and on the youtube page a couple months ago we did me and my brother saran we did a video called the ideology of bitcoin and ideology is based on numerology mathematics my automatics where we pegged uh bitcoin to be a, a three native, a Jupiter native, um, came. It was birthed on a three day. I, I think it was at the thirtieth of a, a third or something like that when Bitcoin first came on the scene and shared its white paper or something like that. Um, so we begin to use that lens of a perspective on the chart, and what we identified was on typically on typical three days. That's like the the twelfth. And actually, specifically the twelfth, they usually does it doesn't take a dip, uh, but so just but based on the ratio, the other three days they go down. So let's highlight that here. You know, tell me about it. Show me. So right here we have um, I've identified, just started highlighting some of the chart. Um, here was a three day. This is the twenty first where it took a dip. Here is uh, the twelfth where it went up. Here. We have uh, the third, where it took another dip, and these dips, you know, they range in in in, in falls. It's short dip. That's just four percent. Well, actually, they went all the way to as low as five percent before it went back up. Um, but we want to get as much we as we can from uh, our markets. Uh, we have here on the twenty first dipped again. We have the third dipped again. Wow, let's make some more, make it more clear. Hopefully you can see this. Make it a little bigger for you, family. All right, here we have the 21st dipped again. 12th? No, that's, that's third. This one on the third, it went up. So that was, how much is that? If we did a ratio, that'd be... Let's take it... Uh, this one right here, too. So that'd be one down two down three and uh, this one will be up so it'll be two to one right here that'll be uh three i'll, I'll let me speed this up so that's a three to nine ratio from december of 20 uh, on the start on the 12th day of that uh the three day of that time so on a three to nine or ten i think yeah, three to nine, nine to three ratio, nine being a dips on a three day. The chances are that it will dip again recently. And if I, I threw another Fibonacci uh, graph on another one of the chart and it aligns with that day as well. So just set your stop losses just in case with this indicator stop right here on the nine um, based on some other um, charting I did with it. But right here. Just set a stop loss. Simple. Protect yourself. That's all I'm saying. And also with the boss method, we know that when the white line crosses the blue, hey, hey, be mindful. And it's on the 433. Be mindful that it typically would drive the price a bit more lower and that it's underwater. So it may it has a higher probability now to continue to drop down. So set that stop loss if you want to pop out already because the white line did cross the blue and you want to keep your form it's extremely important keeping your form your trading form get back in when it comes above the blue keep watching the charts keep vibing a resonance crypto griot here as a navigator of the cryptoverse keep vibing a resonance much love family Ponies.